celebrating this PIB debate today. Mr. Speaker, I do not think anybody is going to oppose this bill. When I looked at the other paper and saw the item on INEC reforms and PIB, I said, glory be to God. Mr. Speaker, I am afraid. I fear. Proud adventure, there may be legislative minds to cough this PIB. I have seen your intention, as you also said here. PIB is one of the oldest bills I made in National Assembly. Seventh, eighth, ninth, perhaps sixth assembly. If what the leader of the house said, it means this bill will determine the life of Nigeria. If what the petroleum of Trim said, it means we are aware that this bill will determine the survival of Nigeria. Mr. Speaker, those who are clamoring on NSAS mentioned also on this bill and the electoral law. So I think we're in the right cause. To allay the fears of us and the people outside, I think we should also treat PIB like the national budget. We should, in fact, create greater speed in it than the budget because this bill will enhance further budgets if we put it into law. Therefore, we should treat it as a national budget. What do I mean, honorable colleagues? That as will be returned by Xmas, the bill should be ready for executives to do the need for. I want to be a prophet of doom to think that legislative minds are laid somewhere to forestall this bill like had been in the practice in other regimes. I pray that I won't speak much, I will stop here, that we should treat this bill like the national budget, since this bill determines the life of Nigeria. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.